So I have my sleeper computer here and it has a Pentium G4400, 16 gigs of 3000 megahertz DDR4 Corsair RAM, 500 watt EVGA power supply and a 240 gigabyte SATA SSD by PNY. I'm going to be tearing this thing apart and then I'm going to be cleaning it out, possibly repainting the inside and doing some DIY touch up work to the case. And we're going to make this look a lot prettier when it's done. So I'm hoping to get rid of this corrosion and rust in the case. I was thinking maybe of gutting the system completely, including the power switch and everything, giving it a quick soak in the bathtub and then possibly seeing what we can do with the interior since it's corroding and rusting and it's it's definitely filthy and then here's the inside of the front of the computer this is like the cover lid here it is disgusting and then the front here as well it needs some tlc this whole computer needs some tlc and i'm thinking in the video that we should probably upgrade the processor in this computer as well. It has only a dual core processor and it doesn't even have hyper threading, which sucks, but it's okay. If you wanna see what was in it before, right here, this motherboard and CPU, it was a Pentium 4. It had maybe 512 megabytes of RAM. And so we've come a long way since then, but I really wanna put some new life into this old computer case and do some tweaks and stuff to this computer and make it awesome again. So we're going to take the computer fully apart and then I am going to clean the entire case in my bathtub. We're going to get some soapy water. We're going to rinse it really well and then we're going to let it dry out and then we'll move on. So let's get started. I'm going to take out the power supply. Actually, I'm just going to unplug everything here. We'll unplug CPU power. Motherboard power is being kind of a pain right now to get out. It's okay. We'll get it. There we go. We'll unplug the SSD, remove everything here, SATA data cable. So we'll go ahead and remove the power supply entirely. All right, we're gonna do the shower method for the second time ever on my channel here. I'm gonna get some hot water going. Oh yeah, we have some good chunks of dust coming off of this thing. Now it is time to remove what's left of these case stickers. This was with the Windows license key sticker. Then back here was a computer shop sticker with their phone number and everything on it. And got rid of that. It says void now. So I gotta get rid of all this gunk and then we'll move on. Well, I got the stickers off, but now we have another problem. Right here where the Windows license key sticker was, I scrubbed it so much with a magic eraser that the paint came off. Now we gotta move on to plan B, which is to repaint the entire case. So we're gonna do the whole case and the plastic part that goes in the front in one color. I've got yet to choose that color. I kind of have a few choices on my mind. I'm not gonna say which one yet, but uh, in the back here, you can see the stickers also done. I've got a tiny bit of stuff left. I'm gonna have to work on a little bit more here, but that'll be for a different day. It's been a long day today, so we'll see what we can do with that. But uh, I think the next step for this case is to take some steel wool to it and definitely try to get some of this corrosion off the case. It's very minimal. It's just down here in the back and in the front here. And then the rest of the case looks pretty clean. So hopefully we can get that solved. Okay, it's a couple days later. I have steel wooled all these three items here. We're gonna get ready and paint this boy. Let's do it. So during this next step of the process, we're gonna be applying two coats of primer to my computer case. And then after that, we're gonna apply the actual color to the computer case, which will probably be in a day or two. We wanna make sure that we do this right, so we're adding a metal primer from Rust-Oleum. 
And then after applying two coats of primer to the computer case, we're gonna let it dry for half a day to a day, and then we're gonna apply two coats of the colored Rust-Oleum spray paint. Always wear breathing protection when doing this inside, or even outside. We got Rust-Oleum Sapphire Blue. That's what we're going to be using today for my computer case. All right, so we've got the case, it is finished, and we're gonna put the new motherboard and CPU into here and all the other guts, and let's get started. first test boot. I'm hoping this will work. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Hey, look, it's spinning. The lights came on on the RAM. The CPU fan's running. So let's see if it retrains memory. Let's see if we get a display output here. I believe in you, computer. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yes, we got a post screen. All right. So Project Blue. Yes, this is going to be called Project Blue from now on. This is gonna be my sleeper project where over time I will slowly upgrade parts over the years to come. So right now the parts might not be the best, but they are okay for now. And as we move on in time, they will progressively get better and better and better. And I will be sure to do update videos on this computer over time. But as you can see, we loaded into Windows 10. This was uh, one of my server SSDs. So you can see that there's a lot of icons on the desktop and it's a black desktop because it was a server computer at one point. But yeah, 
it works great. So this computer features an Intel Core i5-12600K, an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, a Gigabyte B760M DS3H DDR4 LGA1700 socket motherboard, 16 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz Corsair DDR4 RAM, a 240 gigabyte SATA SSD by PNY, a 500 watt EVGA white rated power supply, and an old Dell Dimension 2400 PC case, which was painted sapphire blue by Rust-Oleum spray paint. So I started this project on Thanksgiving day. I had the materials before then for the paint and for the motherboard and CPU. And so it's taken literally almost five days to get this case painted because we did multiple coats and having to do the bottom, the top, and then the lids and stuff and the hard drive cage was a bigger pain in the butt than I was expecting. And there was definitely some flaws in the painting process. The lid had some paint that had chipped off because it hadn't adhered properly to the metal. So I had to repaint that at the last moment's notice. That was annoying and it doesn't look perfect now. This case, I mean, it turned out great, yeah. From a distance, it looks great, but when you get super up close, you start to see the little imperfections. So the thing is, we did this in our pole barn and there's dust everywhere in our pole barn. We try to keep it as clean as possible and we do regularly clean our pole barn. But the fact that there's cars in there and then there's all sorts of different lawn care stuff and then different things for keeping up the homestead, it's gonna get dusty and it's hard to keep at bay in our pole barn. So while we were painting this, some dust particles did get in the finish and most of it wiped away when it was dry, but uh, there's still some permanent dust particles on the finish, but it does look really nice still, even though it didn't turn out perfect. I'm really happy with it, don't get me wrong. I just think we could have done a slightly better job um, with the sanding process of the case. I think I should have sanded it a little bit longer in certain spots, the spots where the paint was peeling really bad. Um, but now that it's fixed, it doesn't look half bad. And we have our new Intel system running in this computer case and it just looks so nice, I love it. I am thinking about in the future, getting this case powder coated with a blue color because we have powder coating factories all around our area. And that would probably be the next logical step for this case. And I'm thinking about doing that maybe in the coming years or maybe next year. Right now is just not a good time. And powder coating would be a much better result in the end. But for now, this temporary thing with the spray paint, I'm not even sure if it's gonna be temporary, it might be permanent. But yeah, I think powder coating would be definitely a great idea and it would be done much more professionally. And so far, I am 98% happy with the way it turned out. The other 2% are just the minor little annoyances that we had to deal with in the painting process that were kind of really irking at times. Uh, yeah, so consider leaving a like, leave a dislike, consider subscribing down below and ringing that bell so you get notified exactly when a new video, live stream, or short is released. I greatly appreciate it. Consider leaving a comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you thought. Did this turn out amazing? What do you think about the video? Do you, what do you think about the parts that I chose for the computer? And have you done a project like this before and made a unique case just like this? Let me know what you've done and let me know if you really liked it or disliked the way it turned out. So that's all for now, folks. Hopefully you found it entertaining and informative as always. I had a lot of fun doing this project. It's definitely one of the more fun projects I've done in a while on my channel. And there's also gonna be multiple parts coming up on this computer, and it may not be for months, but uh, I do plan on benchmarking this computer sometime in the future. Uh, no set date, but I will continue this project moving forward in different videos as it gets updated over time. But yeah, that's all I have for now, folks. Thank you all for watching and bye for now.